Hello and welcome to yet another Nuclear Craft update video. Now we're on version 2.15. We did the 2.13, 2.14 a couple days ago, um, and now on 2.15. Um, and uh, there's actually not too much in this one, or 2.16, but we'll get them done, uh, as uh, we like to be completionists, we want to get through everything. Um, for those who want to know how the overhaul's going, um, the last couple days, still doing prep pretty much, still haven't actually got to adding any nuclear reactor stuff. Uh, it's all been doing prep with the materials and the configs and so forth, because there's quite a lot of changes to, to those, so that is all a bit tedious and annoying to do, but has to be done. And also all the textures and stuff, all the new textures, I'm going to try and uh, get some of these 32 times textures down a little bit, so that, uh, well, it just looks a bit more Minecrafty. So, in 2.15, first of all, added radiation to fusion reactor recipes, so fusion reactors now, as we get close to this fusion reactor, you'll see, I've actually got the uh, the outline on the numbers this time, so it's a bit easy to see. But as we get closer, you'll see that the uh, the amount of rads going on is going up a little bit as we get close to this fusion reactor. As we move away, it goes down. So you can see that some fusion reactor recipes now uh, do generate a little bit of radiation. Um, I think we're getting close to this fusion reactor now, which is why it's going up again. But, oh, maybe not. There's something going on over here that's uh, a bit radioactive for some reason. Who knows? Um, but yes, fusion reactors now do produce a little bit of radiation. You'll notice it far more with big designs, and there are particular um, combos, fuel combos, that produce a lot of radiation. So just watch out for that. Next thing, ORD CT ingredients. So for those of you who know about Craft Tweaker, um, you can now OR ingredients together, and there's like a special syntax for that. I think it's just like that line symbol, this one. Um, and I think you put that between different ingredients and it will basically say to nuclear craft you can use this ingredient or this ingredient or this ingredient in the recipe for each individual slot or fluid or whatever so that's pretty cool if you want to make more complex recipes or don't want to copy out the same recipe over and over again with different combinations of ingredients so that's quite nice next thing added redstone control buttons to machines so if we fly down to a machine like the electrolyzer here you'll see that there's a button here that says redstone control don't worry about this one yet we'll get to that later redstone control um, so at the moment it's off, so when you place a new machine down, it will be off by default. And uh, when it's off by default, redstone signals won't do anything. Um, but when you turn redstone control on, as soon as you flick the lever, the electrolyzer will stop. And you turn it back off again, and it will turn back on again. So you can use some sort of redstone control if you want to. But of course, if you don't care about this, you just turn it off, and it won't care about redstone signals. So there we are. That is uh, that's redstone control in machines. Next thing. Uh, added clear all fluid buttons to MSR's heat exchangers and turbines. So if you fly over to one of these things, like the MSR, and you hold down shift in here, a button will turn up that says shift click to clear all fluid. So by default it's not there because you don't want to accidentally uh, click that um, and clear out everything. But if you want to just completely clear out the machine, you've like screwed something up and it's all a big mess, you can just hold down shift, click that, and it will clear out the entire machine. I don't want to do it here because I've got a setup that's actually running. And I don't want to screw it over, so for now that's uh, that's working. Uh, next thing, replace the uh, hyperspace theme from the 3DO uh, f with a much better remix of the original PC version. So um, for those who know that uh, Nuclecraft has music discs, uh, this music disc has changed. It's quite loud, to be honest, actually. But uh, So there we go, you can listen to the rest of that at some other point. Anyway, so next thing is... Um, remove many unnecessary large textures. So yes, things like the uh, the rhodochrosite and the gems and the tiny clumps, they all used to have their own individual textures with like different sizes and they took up a lot of texture space on the map. Um, and now what I've done is basically uh, the tiny clumps, for example, are actually just using the texture of the normal size clump, but using a model that sort of shrinks down the texture a bit. And the rhodochrosite is actually using a 16 by 16 texture, but again, um, the model's just been shrunk down a little bit to make it the right size. So you can see here, for example, you can see if you look carefully, the, the actual size of the pixels is a little bit different on the rotocrosite because it's just been shrunk down a little bit. And that's true for all the gems and uh, the tiny clumps, as I say. They're just the normal clumps, but shrunk down. Uh, next thing is uh, removed... No, we've already done that. And the final thing, actually, is added OC support for the MSR heat exchanger and turbine. So uh, you can see here that we've got a computer port for all these different things, the molten salt reactor, heat exchanger and turbine. Uh, you can go into the GitHub repository. There's a big list of all of the different methods that you can use through these computer ports if you're into that sort of thing. Um, there's quite a lot. If you find any bugs with them, uh, then let me know about them. There were a few couple of versions back, but I think they're fixed now. And you can use them to get all sorts of information about the, uh, the intricacies of your setup and use that in some sort of crazy open computers uh, program to do whatever you want. 
And I think that's pretty much everything for 2.15. So there we go, that was quite a short one. 2.16 is even shorter. I mean, literally going to take about three minutes to do that one. And uh, yeah, so thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.